Hi, I'm Shannon Wallace, and I'm the Product Manager for Swagger Inspector at SmartBear. As you may know, Swagger Inspector is great for a few different purposes. You can use it to test your APIs. You can use it to mock API calls if you have an open API definition or a WSDL file. And you can also use it to document your APIs. Starting with this newest release of Swagger Inspector, we can also document your APIs using OpenAPI 3. OpenAPI 3 is great because it has increased authentication support, so you can describe your authentication even more deeply than you could before. We also have support for callbacks, so if you have asynchronous APIs, this is great for it to use OpenAPI 3. It also has support for increased examples. Now, starting with OpenAPI 3, you can have more than one example for each API endpoint that you, you may or may not have as part of your API. All right, jumping in here to Swagger Inspector, this is pretty similar to what you first see when you visit. What you are basically going to do is pick your favorite API. My personal favorite is the Star Wars API, so I am going to take this URL here and make a few calls to the Star Wars API. I'm going to clear my previous request here and get started here. I want to see who the Star Wars people are. So starting here, it looks like there are 87 people in the Star Wars universe that are cataloged in their API. Moving over to here to history, you can see the API requests rolling in as I make requests. It looks like we have a few different people here. First person is Luke Skywalker, no surprise there. Second person is C3PO, a personal favorite, awesome. And moving over to person number three, R2D2, also a big favorite. Moving over, now that I've made a few API calls, I can see, of course, how much time has elapsed for each API call, allowing you to do like a simple performance test in addition to this little functional test to see how the API acts when you make calls to it. And if I had an API definition, not an, a live API, what I would probably want to do is go over here and use our mocking functionality, which we've called use definition. Right here, this is showing off our Swagger pet store example, the classic uh, Swagger example. You get to that by using this try a link functionality, and then we make the request to that API to begin with to get all of the information about the definition. Coming back over here, you see all of the API endpoints in the definition. So we'll do this for any open API and WSDL file you give us. We're going to go ahead and give you that menu. You're going to choose something from it, and we're going to send the request just when you press the send button. So that's our mocking capability, which is really awesome. It can allow testers to test your API as it's being developed, helping you speed up your process, especially anybody using Scrum like we do here at SmartBear. Now I'm just going to select some of those API calls that I've made to the Star Wars API. I made some calls to planets. I made some calls to people. I'm just going to select several of those so that I can create a nice API definition. Once I've selected those calls here, I am going to go to create API definition and I'm going to select OAS 3.0 because I think that is the latest and greatest. So clicking on create API definition and then go to Swagger Hub. It'll show you what account your API is going to be stored under. And now we're just going to let Swagger Inspector and Swagger Hub do its magic, create that API. Now name it, importing the API as we speak to Swagger Hub. And in the next step, you're going to see the API documentation here. Okay, so this is great. Once you're on this screen, you can switch over to this UI view here if you just wanna look at the API documentation. I only made get calls here, so you only see those. If I had made put, post, and delete and selected those, you would also see those in the API definition. Going back to split view here, you can see the API definition that's been created automatically with Swagger Inspector. We've added some placeholder text in some places for the description. Maybe you just want to call it the Star Wars API, for example. Um, we've automatically imported the paths that you made calls to, all of the key value pairs. And what you're looking at here is actually the example payload for one of those API calls that we made and what that response looked like when we got it back. 
In a nutshell, this gives you everything that you, you need to create that API definition and then use that definition for much more interesting things like documenting your API and creating API SDKs. So if you have any clients who are waiting to use your API, you can throw them over a client SDK go over here, you can even collaborate with people, so invite people to actually join you and collaborate on the API definition once you have it here in Swagger Hub. Possibilities are basically endless once you have that API definition. I would also strongly recommend using it for your API testing and documentation just because it streamlines things so much. All right, that's all I have today here for you from Swagger at Smart Bear. I hope you enjoy Swagger Inspector.